Hello! Uh, I'm gonna write a little Python program to get the uh, GPS data from a GPS device and I'm just gonna get the uh, latitude and longitude and uh, the device I'm gonna use is a GPS device from Banggood it's uh, this one It's very cheap, but every standard GPS module works. Uh, GPS module. I've used this also. It's the same. It's not USB. It's serial, because the GPS devices uses a standard protocol called NMEO. and NME has different sentences with different kind of information and the one I'm gonna look at is G GPRMC recommend minimum specifications this one so I have the GPS connected to my computer let's check it the uh, TDOM, let's connect to it and see. Uh, I use Linux, but uh, it sh should Python works in uh, Windows and Mac and all kind of system also. And the speed is 9600 bps. No, oh, I typed wrong. ACM0. Yeah, here I get the data and I get RMC here, time, and V means uh, no fix. I have it by my computer here so it can't see the sky at the moment. And in this folder here I have a file called gpstest.py and that's the same file I have open in Sublime Text Editor. So let's start programming. I use a library called Python Serial. Import Serial. And then I'm just gonna open the device. I'm gonna name it GPS and Serial dot Serial and the device that is dev. TTUAC AC ACM zero and then board rate equals nine thousand six hundred. So I'm first I'm gonna check to see if it works. I run it by just typing Python and the file name and it seems to work otherwise it would have shown an error message here but this is looks nice and now I'm gonna create an endless loop while true and then I'm gonna read a line from the GPS line equal GPS dot read line and we can print it first to check if it works now it should uh, print the uh, sentences here and it does so now I just I'm gonna divide everything here is commas every value here is comma separated so now I'm gonna divide the lines up into uh, a list that's like an array let's call it data equals line dot split and the split character is one of these and then 
I'm gonna print the first one here now it's just that's number zero so print data zero so if it works now it will only print the first things there yeah and it does And now we're only interested in the RMC. So if data zero equals to uh, dollar GP RMC, then print line now I will just check and print the line if the data is equal to GPRMC they recommend a minimum sentence there and it works uh, and now I'm gonna check this here if it's valid or not so it's zero one two print let's see two print data two uh, yeah that's working And now I want it only to print the latitude and longitude if it has connection. If data 2 equals, uh, I think it was A, let's check the information, yeah. Validity A OK B invalid, and here is latitude and longitude. Yeah. So here it checks if it's valid, and then it's gonna show the latitude. Then I do. Print uh, latitude uh, data. I'm just gonna ignore north and south and west in this video here. Just it is just a demonstration. Uh, wait, I have an error. Mm. Yeah, I think I need to do it like this. Perhaps. Now, no. Uh, why isn't that working? Print latitude. Is it S percent? 
as a string. Wait a minute, let me check what might be wrong. works and now it doesn't see anything because it hasn't any connection so I'm gonna open my window here and I have it on a wire I'm gonna put it outside here and wait for it to get connection Of course, there is in Linux there is a, a daemon called GPSD that you can use, and it's a little bit different. But I like to interface with the GPS device directly because uh, I work a lot on uh, open VRT devices like mini routers and stuff like that that doesn't have a lot of memory. Yeah, now it works. It's getting latitude and longitude that's pretty cool so let's say I quit it here and now I just want to save it to a file instead uh, for transmission like if you have a remote device you want to transmit then I can do uh, I think I do like this Now that's everything that's gonna be. I just try this first. It, this is gonna be in a text file later, I think. Yeah, now it prints just did that. Uh, clear that. And now I'm gonna, instead of printing it out, I'm gonna print it to a file. Uh, with open and then the name of the file uh, gps uh, position position.txt and I want it to be writable that's the w there and as pos Pus. Then I change that. Pus. Punt. Right. that work I'm not sure if that works doing it like that but let's try it seemed to work so let's open up another terminal and go to this directory slash python Python GPS test ls position.txt yeah, It works but there is one problem it doesn't write a new line so let's 
add a new line like that and try again start this and cat position yeah now it works so let's say I want to send this uh, to another device you can use like in Python you can open ports and stuff like that but what I tend to do I just uh, SCP it it's like uh, Linux kind uh, file transfer yeah and now I'm gonna show how I send uh, the position to another computer uh, now we have a text file that updates automatically every time it gets a new position and now we want to transmit that to another computer so for doing that I do SCP uh, position and uh, I transmit it to my router in this case my home directory there it's been transmitted I have set up public and private key so I don't need to type uh, password and if we, we want to do it uh, once every fi five seconds then we do it like this while do sleep done now it will automatically upload it every fifth second and that's how you do that but I can show you that it's updated on my router too There we have it. I can cut it there. There it changed. So that's how I do it with sending GPS position from a remote GPS to a to a my computer at home here so I can like track something. Uh, in the next video I can show how I do it convert it to a KML file that can be shown in Google Earth and stuff but yeah that's later have a nice day goodbye